today I'm going to build this indoor plant stand. For this I need 1.5 inch by 12 inch by half inch pine board strips, 4 1 inch thick dowels which measure 12 inch in length. I also need 2 inch long wood screws, some glue and a plant pot. These are the tools I'm going to use to build this project. I started by measuring my plant pot in order to figure out the size of the base of my plant stand. The diameter at the bottom measures 6 inches, so this will be the length of the beams on which the plant pot rests. I'm going to clamp the two pine boards one below the other. Then I'm marking the length of the beams which is 6 inches on the top board and I will carry it down with a tri-square. Next, I am marking the center point at 3 inches on the top piece and carrying it down. I need to make a half inch by 3 quarter inch notch. So I measure quarter inch from the center on each side and carry them down using my tri-square. I then measure the depth of 3 quarter inch on each piece. I'm removing the clamp and transferring the marks on the half inch edge. Next, I'm cutting out each piece using my Black & Decker handsaw. I make smaller cuts at regular intervals into the depth of the notch. Then, I'm clearing it up with the help of a half inch chisel and hammer. This is how the pieces look after cutting out the notch. You can interlock them to create a cross beam. This is called a half lap joint. I've decided to keep the height of my plant stand as 12 inch. So I bought four 1 inch thick dowels cut to size. I want the dowels to go up to the offset on my plant pot which measures 2 and a quarter inch. So I mark points at 2 and a quarter inch on all the dowels. Next step is to drill holes for screwing. To accurately drill holes in the dowels and beams, I cut a small piece of cardboard and make two pin holes. I'm using this template to mark points on the dowels and beams. Then I'm using my Black & Decker cordless drill to make holes through the dowels and into the beams. I have been using this product for a while now. This is light in weight and durable. I sand everything smooth with my Black & Decker sander. Finally, I start assembling the beams between the dowels with glue and screws using my Black & Decker BD40 screwdriver. This is one of my favourite hand tools so far and comes very handy in every household repair. Its compact size makes it easy to store and carry it around. I particularly love the LED feature which throws light on the work you're doing. Next, I connect the cross beams 
and tap them in place with the hammer gently. And the plant stand is ready. You can choose to stain it with the color of your choice or leave it natural like mine. I created a smaller plant stand with the leftover wood strips the same way. These easy to build pieces will beautify any corner of your home.